Okay, we're back on YouTube. So my fat loss phase has started. So I figured that I would document it on YouTube and kind of give you guys vlogs of just like what I'm changing, what I'm going through, just like the entirety of this deficit and fat loss phase. It's exciting. I've been waiting for this for so long and I'm so excited that it's here, even though I know it's gonna be so freaking hard, but it's gonna be so worth it in the end. I technically, my fat loss phase started Monday and it is Wednesday. But I had a massive paper due yesterday, so I spent yesterday and Monday writing it. So I just have had to shift my workouts this week. So today will be my day one, and then I'll probably do day two tomorrow, and then I'll do my day three on Friday. We're starting with this. I'm not going to give specifics with what my calories are, what my macros are, um, just because I don't want anyone like coming across this and following it as they're tailored to me, like you shouldn't be eating my macros type of thing. I'm very excited. So we're starting slow. We're not making changes to food yet. We are just gonna make changes to movement. I, aside from lifting, have not been moving very much in terms of like everyday steps and stuff. So we are going to be adding a goal of 6K steps, which I know is like very doable. So some of y'all are like 6K. I feel like I'm averaging closer to 4k right now so I think what we're doing is just making intentional movement come in where I'm not just like oh well I already did it I'm like making the decision oh you have to go hit steps you have to go on a walk and just kind of easing myself into it that way so that is that I have meal prep this week are you proud of me I'm gonna show you guys what I made for meal prep um let me flip this so I'm kind of going the most simple I can possibly go lately so I've been doing my overnight protein brownie batter oats, phenomenal. Any fruit on top, tastes delicious. And then of course, the thing that gets me out of bed each morning is my iced coffee. I literally just do cold brew or regular iced coffee. I'll show you. I feel like it depends, but I prefer this to like the cold brew, um, the blonde roast iced coffee. And then I will just do two tablespoons. I eyeball it at this point of this silk oat creamer, which is 50 calories. It's just like the most simple and I think tastes the best. I'm pretty picky with my coffee now and this is my favorite. Even like when I go out, I just want what I make at home. So this is my breakfast and I've got my cutie little, somebody said they look like balls, but it is purple cherries, my cute little straw. I have like a thing of just straws back here and I gotta pick which decal do I feel like today and then I've been starting to collect cute cups so it is just what it is right now but what do I feel like grabbing I grabbed the purple balls they are cherries though despite what anyone says they are cherries so I'm gonna do that eat and I'm gonna do a little bit of homework because <laughs> I have four weeks left of school so we gotta get it in but I'm gonna do a little bit of homework and then I will chat with you guys whenever I'm either going to eat again or I'm going to get ready for the gym because I have to go today. My plan is literally to sit on this couch. Hi, mother. Sit on this couch, do my readings, threw my phone on the ground for whatever reason, do my readings, eat. He's been getting way more vocal and it's actually like, for you guys, it's cute. For me, it's kind of pissing me off because it's always whatever I'm talking or doing something or I'm on the phone or whatever, but I'm gonna sit and just do some homework. There's no point in vlogging it. It's boring, but. That is my plan for right now. And I will chat with you guys later. Okay, hello, hi. Um, so we're gonna go work out. <laughs> I feel like I never know how to start these clips, but I got myself dressed. We're gonna go lift. Ooh, I cannot forget my Apple Watch. This was, I don't have anything to put this on, so sorry you guys are getting this shot. Cannot forget my Apple Watch. I'm using my Apple Watch now. I feel like, let me know if you feel the same way. I go through phases, whether I'm using my Apple Watch or I'm not using my Apple Watch. I've been in a not Apple Watch phase this entire year, but I need it for my steps. So we're using the Apple Watch again and I'm gonna hopefully hit my 6K steps today. No, not hopefully, I will hit my 6K steps today because that is part of my deficit. I'm doing my best guys. I don't know if I'm doing my best, but I will be doing my best. So I grabbed my pre-workout. Lately my pre-workout, instead of mixing up pre-workout powder, has been the Alani energy drinks. Well, the Alani pre-workout powder is my go-to pre-workout powder. Alani for all, but I've been using the energy drinks a lot because it's so good. This one is the Kim Aid. It was a co collab with Kim Kardashian. Alani, I would love to know your budget. 
Because you got Kim Kardashian and Emirata and all these people. If you get Sydney Sweeney next, I'm done. But please get Sydney Sweeney and Renee Rapp. Those are my two girls. Um, let me show you guys. I'm gonna put you on my bookshelf. I wanna show you. Oh, if only you could see my cat. Let me see if I can show you. I'm trying to back up to do my gym bit, and he's just he lays like this. Hey. <laughs> Let me see if I can figure this out in a different way. That's not stepping on him. Okay, this is my gym fit for today. I am wearing the Vitality Cloud 2 volley shorts in like the new navy pair. I think they're called Sapphire. They launched in January. Oh, also to update you guys, I don't work with Vitality anymore, but they do make my favorite shorts. So wearing these today, they're so flattering. And then I found the best sports bra. This is the best sports bra to ever exist, to ever be made for girls with larger titties. I, it's a bold claim, but I will keep it. It's from Tala. It is their Dayflex Essential Square Neck Sports Bra. I just ordered three more. I love them. I love them. They're great. This is what I'm wearing to go lift. I got my Nike Metcons on, my energy drink. We're all set, you guys. But yeah, so I'm gonna go work out. Um, I don't know if, sh if I should put my workouts in this because I post them on Instagram and TikTok, but someone wants to let me know. Do you guys want my workouts filmed in a YouTube video tracking my progress or not? Because I'm doing a, a program, so my workouts are the same every week, but I can toss them in one of these weeks. Who knows? Let me know what you feel. But we're gonna go drink our energy drink as we drive to the gym and then get our steps in and it's gonna be a good day. I do have my meal prep waiting for me when I get back, though I'm gonna have to boil more fucking noodles. It's fine. It's this. I'm prepped the rest. I also have to cook more chicken, so I have to get more chicken. Ugh. It's fine, we're doing this for our health. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go work out. I will chat with you guys at some point throughout the day, but cheers. Here's what we do when we go to the gym. We get in the car. Before we even drive to the gym, we have a tiny little car set with our pre-workout um, of choice, whether that's a mixed pre-workout or whether that is an energy drink. ASMR. And then we drive to the gym and then we'll have a car set again once we're there to finish our pre-workout. And then we'll go to the gym and work out. And then we'll have a car set before we drive home. It's honestly just part of the day. I feel like it's just like a rite of passage, you know? Ugh, school drama. I'm also listening to, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening today. So we're listening in to Evermore. It tracks, it tracks with the mood. I woke up just like not in the happiest mood. So we're listening to happiness, obviously. I don't know what is going on. My neck is so stiff today. It is painful. Like I can't fully turn. Um, it is so tight and like tightly painful to where it's like sharp and I can't tell what it is Like I know I'm not sleeping well on it, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do differently for sleep It's pissing me off quite frankly. Um, and it's giving me a headache. It's shooting up into my scalp like here up Here down my arm. It's just It's putting me in a bad mood Honestly, I'm sorry. Like, I know so many creators and influencers around here being like, oh my god, happy day. No, this is putting me in a bad mood. I'm not in a good mood today. But it's what you do when you're not in a good mood, I guess. I feel like I'm trying to be philosophical and it's not working. But like, some days you just don't feel like lifting. This is a side, if you are really injured or really sick, that's fine. But there are days, because people always ask, like, how do you have the motivation? It's not motivation. Like, I don't have motivation most of the time. I just do it because I know I need to. For the most part, there obviously are going to be some circumstances, you know, outliers and exceptions to rules, but you'll never regret a workout. Like, you'll go, it may not be the best workout you did, but you're not going to regret that you went. But you will regret if you just skip it because you don't feel like it. You know what I mean? This is where my pre-gym car set ends up being. Always. I scroll on my phone or I FaceTime my sister or my niece, but my niece is in school right now, so. I do need to go to the gym though, even though my neck is killing me. It is killing me. I just can't eat my lunch until I go to the gym because after the gym, my gym's attached to a Whole Foods. So after the gym, I grab my groceries and I need the chicken for my lunch and then I come home. So let's go do that. 
even though I'm procrastinating. The lack of motivation doesn't necessarily mean procrastination. Can I speak? The lack of motivation doesn't necessarily mean there is no procrastination. There we go. Print that. Put it on a t-shirt. I don't know what you do. I'm going to go lift and see how it goes. But my neck is really stiff. So there may be some adjustments because I'm not trying to hurt myself. So we're going to do that. But when I go to the gym, in order to help get my steps in, I'm going to walk before I work out for like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, probably like put on a YouTube video or something and walk and then work out. See where I'm at with my steps. I do have a walking pad. So maybe that's what I'll do tonight. I'll pull it out so I don't have to like leave the apartment. But I will chat with you guys later. So the workout's done. Wasn't the best workout. It took so long and then I literally just like, today feels like a day. So I'm starving. I waited way too long. I procrastinated. I'm making myself some avocado toast while I wait for my noodles to cook for my freaking lunch. It's 4 p.m. Kind of feel like I'm failing today, but you know, whatever. Oh, I forgot to salt my noodles. Um, yeah, so the workout wasn't the best, but I still showed up and I did it and I didn't skip any sets and I didn't skip any reps. So proud of me. I also pushed my weight. I hit um, two new PRs today, which feels great. Ooh, I should prep my avocado. It's the last day of winter. I think that means something in the, you know, that type of world. Cause I just, today doesn't feel like a day. I got my avocado. I make very, very, very simple avocado toast. Why does this look like this? Even my fucking avocado's over today. It's burnt. You guys, nothing's going right today. That's really fun for me. So excited. I just almost cut my hand off and then dropped this half in the other. I'm like this close to a mental breakdown right now. I like, I'm, I, and I'm not even exaggerating. I'm so close to a mental breakdown right now. At least a mental breakdown would make for good content. Happy first day of my deficit. I'm falling apart. You guys, this is literally what happened to my nail. It is growing back. This happened on Sunday and it was so far down and I was bleeding and it sucked. And somehow I have a cut here. The entire point of this vlog is not to be me just bitching and complaining, but that is kind of what it's turning out to be. So, very sorry. I just feel like today is just like a day. I texted my friend and she was like, it's because of the fucking last day of winter. So I guess that's what's happening. I have to eat this fucking burnt piece of sourdough. And I am going to be putting it on a paper plate. And I'm fully aware that's not super environmentally conscious. I just... I just dropped all of the avocado on my counter. I hope everybody's having a way better day. Okay, trying to scoop it up. I dropped more. I <laughs> Okay. Happy day. Happy day. Okay. The best part of the avocado toast is the balsamic glaze. I just got this one from Trader Joe's, but they sell it at every store. I don't even know if this is cleaning it that well, but this is just, this is what I can handle right now. And because I'm not having a very good day, I deserve an Olipop and a really fucking cute glass from Anthropology. I don't make the rules. This is what happens when you're having a bad day. This, you get to cheer yourself up. So right now I just need to, I just need to measure out. Okay, so right now we're just measuring out with my food scale how much pasta I need. Got my pasta. Cook it up. I also grabbed at Whole Foods because I didn't feel like cooking it. I got pre-grilled chicken breast. Um, that's my favorite hack. When you're feeling lazy. Lazy's not a word, Haley, stop saying it. When you are feeling tired. Okay, so the camera did die. The camera did die. It's okay. I have a new memory card. My battery's charged. Um, it is a new day. I'm about to go hit the gym. I got dressed. I have this um, broadcast channel on Instagram that is kind of just like for accountability and for us to chat. I thought it was going to be more like a group text. I guess I didn't understand what broadcast channels really were. So like only I can post on it. So it's not like what I really wanted, 
but I'm gonna try to figure that out because I would like like an accountability group text where we can all just be like friends to each other. But I posted in that today and kind of asked like what vibe should we do for my gym fit today? I was like, should I do a neutral vibe or should I do, I asked if I should do a neutral vibe or if I should do like bold and bright colors. Now I know these are pastels, but for me, it's pretty bold and bright because I am a neutrals girly to my core. So my hair is also day three or four, day three. So it's a little bit dirty. We decided to just slick it back. I'm getting ready to go lift. Um, today is day two for my split. My split is the same as it was before we started the fat loss phase, but we are adding steps. So I'm not even sure if I hit my step count. I don't think I did, so I'm kind of avoiding looking. Oh, this lighting sucks. I don't really think that I hit my step count, so I've been kind of avoiding like looking to see if I did, but I guess we can do it together. I took, I don't wear my watch all day, and I think that's what the habit I need to get into is wearing it all day. Oh, I was not even close. You guys, step counts are hard. Like everyone's like, oh, 10K steps a day. Bro, that is a lot of walking. Um, I didn't even hit 3K yesterday, and I actually went on a walk on the treadmill, so I guess I need to figure out a new routine where like maybe I go to the gym in the morning and walk, or, I pull out my walking pad and find a way to walk in the morning. It's just very out of my routine, like my usual norm. So I got to figure that out. It's fine. Um, let's grab pre today. The only two I have in my fridge right now, by that I mean the only two that are cold. I have a drawer of energy drinks. Um, I need to refill it. Are cherry slush and chemade. I had chemade yesterday, so I'm gonna have cherry slush today. I'm obsessed with cherry slush. Let's refill this. Oh, let me show you guys. <laughs> I have like a drawer. When I moved into my apartment, there's this drawer underneath my microwave. So I literally put, these are my energy drinks and then sparkling waters. And I kind of love the drawer. It's really cute. Um, and I know I have a package coming from Milani today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. So let's see, what do I feel like? I try to at least have one of each flavor so I can have a variety to choose from. I'm gonna toss in a Juicy Peach, an Orange Kiss. Orange Kiss is new, it's so good. I'm gonna toss in another, so I have all four of my flavors um, that I currently have, which are Kimmade, which I don't know if you can buy anymore, but it's really good. Uh, Orange Kiss, Juicy Peach, and Cherry Twist. These are all my favorite energy drink flavors. I also love Breezeberry, but I haven't really been purchasing a lot to be fair. They have been sending me energy drinks. And they haven't sent me Breezeberry in a while. I need to purchase some. I really like Breezeberry. Got this little pack. Oh, it's not showing. Let me see if I can get like the lighting. Oh gosh. Okay. It doesn't really show on camera. It is like this, like almost like neon pastel. I really like it. That is gonna be what I put on on my MacBook because the other one's breaking off. Cute. Adorable. Oh, my books came. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, yes. Okay. I got little tabs because I'm going to annotate and highlight my favorite parts when I reread Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. Um, I'm so excited. But here's a little book haul. They just came in the mail. I got Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I got 19 Minutes by Jody Picoult. And then... Rebecca Yaris is my girl right now. So I got Things We Leave Unfinished because apparently this is like the best romance book ever. So these are all going to be four to five stars. I already know it. So I'm really excited about that. What I'm gonna read first is Heart of Your World. And the best part, I have an emotional support bookmark and it's in the book, which means it's official. I'm gonna try to read this tomorrow. Tomorrow and Saturday. Very excited for that. Okay, now that I've done all the things that I feel like I need to do right the second, um, time is it? It's one. I should make myself a snack. I'll have a five for one brownie for right now. I'm trying to like time because I don't want to eat like a full lunch and be full full before I go lift. So I'm trying to time myself, but then I've been getting like hungry at the gym. So I'm going to eat a five for one brownie and hopefully that ties me over until when I get back. My favorite flavor of the five for one brownies is the cinnamon. These obviously taste better if you heat them up for a few seconds, but they're still good. I can't wait to be done with my workout though because my reward for finishing my workout is going to be a poppy. And I fucking love poppy. Let's go gym. Cannot 
forget you. I need my roots done so bad and it's kind of stressing me out. And I don't love a slick back high pony because I just feel like my head shape doesn't suit it because I have like a wider head. I feel like I'm picking myself apart. We can't do that, Haley. We can't start this. It's fine. I'm gonna go lift real fast. I'll take you with me. We're gonna pop down to Whole Foods afterwards and get some more poppies though, cause I'm running out and that's horrifically sad. I also am gonna have to find a way to go on a walk today cause I gotta hit my step count. Or see, there's my walking pad. We'll figure it out. I literally look insane. Um, <laughs> okay, so it was not a good workout. I went, I did all of my exercises. I just, my body is just like really achy from my neck and my shoulder and my traps and honestly my scap. It just hasn't been a good week of workout so far. It's fine. I did come back, made myself meal prep. I did my dishes. So they're in the dishwasher doing their thing. I got my new candle going. So I feel like a lot of us can relate to this, but I kind of always would like save the really cool things like candles or lotion or makeup or whatever it may be for a special occasion. Cause I'm like, well, I don't wanna like just use it on the day day to day. But then I feel like something that I've been trying to do this year is allowing myself to enjoy the amazing things, the things that I've been saving. Like we're saving them for what? To celebrate a special occasion. Like we are not promised tomorrow. We're not promised next minute. And so I'm kind of just allowing myself to enjoy the things because I'm like, Haley, if you really like that candle, so like this candle I've had for four, almost four years, for four years, more than four years. And I haven't burnt it because I'm just like, I'm saving it for like the right occasion. That's so dumb. Cause I'm just like, Haley, you could literally burn that candle. And if you really, really like it, buy another crazy concept. So I'm trying to like force myself almost like insane immersion therapy to like do the things in life that are fun and enjoyable because we literally are not promised tomorrow at all. So I'm trying to like enjoy more about life. But what else was I going to say? My step count is low. It's low right now. It's not good. So what I did was I'm feeling a little bit bloated, a little bit, you know, all the things. My period should start in the next week. So like that makes sense. But I put on some joggers and I'm going to go walk on the treadmill a little bit. But I'm finishing up my Olipop because I told you guys it was my treat for finishing my workout and I got the watermelon lime today um because I had one in my fridge because I wanted to try it again because I tried it like six months ago and I wasn't the biggest fan this is good it's just kind of sweet I kind of want to try to make like a margarita with it this summer because it's like a watermelon margarita is so good what I'm gonna do is I have two more readings to take notes on for one of my classes I would like to do the uh the assignment that I have to do based off the readings today and then I want to go through the learning materials and slides for my other class because I'm meeting with my class group tomorrow morning I want to do all that but then I'm also wanting to go walk on the treadmill and listen to my fourth wing iron flame podcast so I think I'm gonna spend the next like honestly hour I'm probably gonna wait what time is it so I think what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna do homework it's 5 12 I'm gonna do a little bit of homework until like the sun setting and then I'm gonna go downstairs grab a treadmill at my apartment gym and just walk for like an hour move my body I need to start like finding a way to schedule in my intentional cardio every single day as I'm going into this deficit because especially I feel just really swollen and really uncomfy in my skin and I know part of it is because luteal phase the luteal phase is luteoling really bad this week and I'm about to start my period like all the things but like I am ready and what's exciting is because I'm starting my deficit there is a chance that like by this time next month I can start feeling small changes from the fat loss it's gonna be a slow you know five pounds a month type of thing but like five pounds can make a difference and i'm just excited for just seeing how my body's gonna feel because it's not just like i don't like how i look i don't like how i feel i feel stiff i feel swollen i feel puffy i'm just really excited to make like a change it's it's good um so i'm gonna do a little bit of homework i'm also getting my nails done tomorrow and i'm so excited so my nails right now don't look at this one okay you see the color it's not focusing but i did like kind of like this like blue gray kind of blue my nail i have one nail broken on this hand one nail broken on this hand i'm getting just a whole new set because it's it's week four so instead of getting them fixed i'm just gonna get a whole new set tomorrow and that's gonna be in the afternoon right before book club and i can't wait for book club tomorrow and then i also have to work out i'm gonna i haven't taken a rest day in the last two days um normally i do a rest day in between workout but i want to next program in the next month ideally shift my workouts to four days a week instead of three because i just need to start getting the movement in more often and i do think that my body body is getting more adjusted to like the soreness where I'm not getting like insanely sore after each workout. That's cur my, currently my plan. That's my update for you guys. A very unnecessary long ranting update, but I will chat with you guys later.